Hello, welcome back to Tarot by Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and thank you for being here, and thank you for the super thanks. And I'm having some tea, some tea. Yes, and it's rainy, it's wet, and my stream out back is getting very full and wide. Yes, so anyways, it's a chilly day. So good day for hot tea, a cup of cuppa. And some tarot. So let's find out how Charles is feeling. Uh, you know, I'm sure he's uh, pretty enraged with the, now people are calling Megan, the unfortunate daughter-in-law or sister-in-law. And, uh, you know, it's unlikely they even saw each other at all. It doesn't have time. And um, also, Samantha does have apparently 14 days to amend the situation with the trial. Uh, what I got off Reddit was they said not likely still to, to uh, go her way. Uh, so that would be terrible. But um, today I would like to find out, I will ask the pendulum about that, about how uh, King Charles is feeling. How is King Charles feeling? Um, you know, probably Harry's most likely not there anymore. He's probably left. So how is King Charles feeling? Uh, and um, his trip was canceled, but I know he had a he had a fabulous uh, speech in Germany. Spoke it in German. He had that standing ovation for a couple of minutes. So he's got to be riding high on that at least. There we go. Wow, the magician, the magician. So there's a rainbow. He feels there is hope in the air for him. So I think that's probably has nothing to do with Harry, but probably his recent speech and the success of it. First monarch in history to speak German to uh, the German um, parliament, parliament. So, you know, that's quite these, you know, he's multiple languages, apparently bilingual in many different types. So, and people were saying on Reddit, this is one of the other reasons why Diane and him just were never really quite suited. He's quite the intellect. And then under the surface here, we have um, Knight of Pentacles. So yeah, the slow and steady wins the race to get to get the uh, rainbow cut through the dark clouds and with, you know, just basically going after his goals and manifesting them and tapping into full potential. So he tapped into his full potential. I'm don't I'm not I'm feeling he's kind of ignoring the whole Harry situation with these two cards. He's focused on what he can make happen, what he can do. Very determined energy. Totally reaching full potential. So I think he's at a level of most likely the acceptance phase where it's like, okay, it's a done deal, you know? Uh, and that does happen. It takes a while. It could take a couple of years and it has been a couple of years of dealing with Harry like this. So it's, it's looking very hopeful for him. He's just going to do what he's got to do. The two of those is quite King energy too, as far as I'm concerned. Let's get to the challenging position for King Charles. The challenging position for King Charles. The challenging position. Challenging position is the lovers. The lovers. Whoa, okay, that's interesting. The lovers testing the relationship. Probably testing the relationship with the public more than likely. Um, don't think that's him and Camilla. Uh, I'm going to get to the next position because it's sticking out here. And this is going to be the focal point. The focal point is going to be the Six of Swords going upright. Yeah, okay. Six of Swords is that that leaving the situation transition period with regret. So that would be Harry. That would be Harry. Because Harry did leave. You know, he thought he was getting out of stormy waters and thinking it was an ideal time to move on. You know, the calm after the storm has come. So Harry has left. Harry's, you know, he's probably like, wow, good. Thank God he's out of here. He's not, he's not here anymore. He's not on my soil anymore. So definitely the challenging aspect is, is actually having to, to converse with him and, and, and have hard conversation. Let's get to the root situation here. The root situation here. The root situation. The root. The root situation that's affecting the situation is the moon in reverse. Yeah, everybody knows what's going on. The hiding of the issues is all out. There's no more hiding issues. Everything's unveiled. I did do a tweet on that um, saying that we can argue about moon bumps. Are, do they have kids? Uh, you know, are they coming back? Are they showing up to coordination? We can argue every little detail, but one thing we can't argue is the disdain. Uh, he showed who he is. We know what he is. We believe him. And this is kind of what this says right here. All the issues are out. There's no more hiding the mental illness too, because the moon is also about um, 
about about the, the just the horrible emotions uh you know with full moons those emergency rooms get quite packed with uh mental health patients uh my neighbor a couple doors down is a nurse and she said oh yeah those full moons it's very real about the full moons and getting mental health patients i feel with this everybody knows harry's harry's unwell and um things things before they could put that smoke and mirrors up and that smoke and mirrors has been lifted they they hit it they did a great job of, of concealing uh his trauma whatever's going on with him and his mother issues but that's all completely out uh he, he's also probably hoping it can heal to lead to healing but he this here difficulty even approaching him and will the slow and steady win the race even happen it you know it's a slow steady uh, problem that's been unveiled too uh, going from the past position that doesn't serve is the page of wands in reverse yep so that would be paired harry with the page of wands in reverse paired with the three of pentacles Ooh. so working with harry is not going to serve the family nor does it serve harry that's why he left uh with the page of wands in reverse he's just on this that is sort of um a wild child card uh, I'll just call it the wild child going in reverse. So going into the extreme. Um, and he's not very ambitious. Uh, he's losing ambition for work. And he doesn't like to work. He didn't want to be a working royal. Uh, that is the work card. The Three of Pentacles is about growth and collaboration, usually through teamwork and skills and working. Harry doesn't want to hammer away at it. He do, He's not interested in it. And he just has no ambition for work or even with the royals. So this isn't serving them. And with that lack of ambition, with that wand down, uh, that's basically take trying, you know, Harry wanted the spotlight. He wasn't getting the spotlight. So this is another reason why he did it, because one energy is about the spotlight. Harry wanted the spotlight in order to be working, to be working and have it work out. Harry was feeling rejected by not getting the spotlight as we know attention is attention he wanted the spotlight he does have that in common with megan or actually i should say that unfortunate daughter-in-law uh who ex-daughter-in-law will be ex-daughter-in-law uh so yeah and he puts out bad news bad news bad messages and that is his job his job is let's trash the family i just put out bad news and i'm low vibe because I'm a rejected person with no energy and no enthusiasm to be worked with or even to get better. I don't think he even thinks that working with him, trying to get growth and expansion in him and working with him would even pan out. I think he's given up. I think he's in full acceptance mode here. And what else? A page of pentacles in reverse. He has a lack of ability to commit himself. He's very distracted. He's kind of a gambler. He's got boundary issues. He puts out nothing but bad news. There's no dedication there. So he's really that bad news. That's that wild child that has gone off the rails, literally. Uh, let's go into the next position, the future. The future, ooh, eight of wands. Yes, that is eight of wands. I'm trying to get used to this deck still. So I'm a little slower uh, reading this time around until I really get to know it. The imagery is totally different. Eight of wands is the um, communication. So he's expecting he will have to communicate, but it's difficult for him, you know, for him to manifest and get things to go in a good direction with Harry and his <clears throat> unfortunate wife, uh, the unfortunate Sussexes. Um, yeah, he, he knows the day's coming. He can't avoid it. And I think he wants it to happen swift and fast. He also knows they're going to put out more negative messages in the in the campaign of their PR, that they're going to continue it. They're not going to stop. And uh, he realizes that there, it's just he's trying to unveil every secret, whatever. But a lot of it is lies, illusions, and deceptions uh, from a unwell individual. It's not necessarily truth because the moon is a card of, of, of psychosis and lying and all that. It's not necessarily a healthy card, okay? So he knows they're going to continue with it. So he's, he's on a mission of total destruction. And I think he's coming to acceptance, as I said. Yeah. So the feelings in the situation, I have two of swords in reverse with the seven of wands. 
Okay, with the seven of wands is he realizes there's they're trying to protect a point of view here. And they do have, they think that they know what they're doing with that lightning bolt. Uh, lightning bolt is about breakthrough insight. So they think that they're going to protect a point of view with this breakthrough insight. But really, with the two of swords in reverse, uh, this here is basically, mm, they need to check their head and their heart if they're actually telling the truth. Uh, there's no debate. You can't debate with them because upright, you can kind of intellectually debate within yourself what's the best decision. You know, uh, having a positive discussion primarily with yourself, weighing pros and cons. Uh, block, you know, they have blocked heart chakra here. So basically, he knows whatever whatever goes down, it's going to be very guarded and stuck in the middle. He feels like he's really stuck in the middle with them. And that they really think that they are going to protect their point of view and that they're going to have these breakthrough insights. So he sees this as a continuing problem and he will probably have to somehow compromise with them and make peace. Uh, because this here is a trying to make peace position through them trying to protect and guard. This Both of them are very guarded. We have two very guarded boundary cards and having to come to some kind of um, some kind of decision, they have they have to make some decision, and they want it quick, they want it fast. Uh, it will be done. I definitely, as I say, it will be after the coronation. So I think something's going to really come down after the coronation. That wanted out. Whoa! I'm going to take it, and I didn't notice it had flipped. So the fool, yeah, the fool's path. So I will just put that with that on their path. Yep, they're going to keep doing it on their path. They're going to have to come to some kind of decision. Very guarded on their path. They're taking a risk. That's like that new journey. So here we go. The, the outside influences is nine of wands in reverse. There it is upright. Nine of wands upright. Let me turn my light around because it's disturbing the card. Let me see if that helps. There, that's probably better. There we go. So nine of wands, nine of wands is the battle fatigue. So as you can see, he's looking at all his swords. He's like, wow, I'm kind of tired. I'm getting burned out here. And uh, should I keep going? What should I do? I need strength of will here. Mm, let's see. I need to strategize. Very guarded and wounded. Another guarded and wounded. So everybody's guarded and wounded. We've got two, three guarded uh, very guarded energy. Everybody's incredibly on guard. Everybody's going to have very high boundaries. They're going to try to learn from the past. Uh, and this is a perseverance card. Um, and this here is also what I'm going to also coin as the damsel in distress for Meghan Markle. Uh, I think a lot of people are thinking, yeah, she played the damsel in distress uh, in order to get this whole situation to happen the way it did. Uh, hoping that it, things would go in her favor. It's about also staying courageous. So everybody's guarded, wounded, needing to stay courageous. Let's get to the next position. The hopes and fears. The hopes and fears for King Charles. The hopes and fears. The hopes and fears. The hopes and fears for King Charles. The hopes and fears for King Charles. There it is. We got the star. He wants, yeah, he wants everything. He wants hope and healing. Uh, for I think mainly future hope for himself because right here we had this here where he can manifest and get things for himself. This is slaying the dragon. Look at that. I think he hopes to slay them. I'm just going to slay the dragon. They're not going to change. They're going to keep doing negative campaign PRs. He'll never be a page of, pen, page of uh, wands upright. He will always be in reverse, which is really going off the rails with negative messaging and PR campaign. And they're just all about this destruction here. Uh, they've got their heart chakras blocked. So uh, I think this really is hope and slaying the dragon of Megan and Harry. Uh, I don't think it, it's in terms of um, getting together and uh, making peace where everything's like, let's just sweep it under the rug kind of energy. That's not what this is. This is not, let's just sweep it under the rug and let's pretend nothing happened. No, I don't see that. Let's go into the next position, the final call, the final outcome. Final outcome. Wow, final outcome, three of cups. Wow, three of cups. So basically, this is a celebration card. He's focused on his coronation. He's focused on the support that he can get, the people that do love him. 
and basically totally guarded and wounded in terms of, of Megan and Harry and slaying them. Slaying them, knowing he's going to have to confront them and deal with them. Uh, so he's just focused on what he does have in life. You know, the people that do love me, the people that do give me great emotional happiness, my friends, the family that's there for me, the social gatherings, people raising a glass, uh, that's healing him. He realizes everything can be okay and be fine without uh, without the petulant prince here, uh, who has always been a wild child, who has now totally gone off the rails. And they always hit it. They always hit it, but they can't do it anymore. It's all it's all out. It's all out. We hit it. We did the best we could, but now everybody knows. Uh, so he's just going to focus on what's in front of him, which is uh, his his reign, his celebration. I'm focused on on what's coming ahead. Not he's not focused on Harry, which is going to really irritate them because that silence is killing them. Uh, they want a reaction. They want the reaction is what they feed off of. So then they can use it against you. And so him focusing on what's ahead of them instead of what's in the rear view mirror, which is Megan and Harry, is really triggering to Megan and Harry. Uh, let's get some cards on, uh, a few cards on, or actually I'll, do, I'll just do the pendulum on Samantha. Um, Samantha's case. Uh, will Samantha be able to, Samantha Markle, be able to get her, her day in court? Will Samantha, Meg Samantha Markle get her day in court? Will Samantha Markle get her day in court? Will she actually get her day in court? No, I'm getting no. It's looking like something's up here. Yeah, I don't know. I hope she doesn't see this. <clears throat> yeah. Let's get some cards on this. What's going on? What's going on? We have here, I would say this here is probably the pair. I feel this is the pair here. Let's clarify that. Two of cups here. They're stealing the limelight here with this with shining a light on it. It's shining a light on Megan and Harry. And they're saying that she's lying. Yeah, this is the, these are the, uh, the fools on their fool's path. And they're just going around lying, lying, lying about everything because they are out of options. They're gaslighting. I think Megan and Harry are gaslighting their way through here, uh, which is affecting the trial because they want it to end and let's let go of this. Uh, you know, just say goodbye to this case. And uh, you cannot defend your uh, thought process here uh, with the seven of wands in reverse. This is dropping, dropping it, um, consequences. Uh, you know, so I think here they cannot protect and keep it going. She can't keep it going here. Um, yeah, this here is giving up. It's giving up. Um, it's kind of a, it's kind of a lost cause really. And it's inability to hold ground in this position. Um, and it's inadequate, inadequate, can't win, can't win, got to let go. And say goodbye to it and the death of it uh so i think she'd like to do a transformation but it's looking like no they are lying their way gaslighting and being traitors and they're they're focused on their own it's looking like whoever is handling the situation is pro uh pro the uh fake in-laws here so i i'm gonna say it's not looking not looking like it's possible here I'm going to see, what does this have? Three of Pentacles. Yeah, and she's been working at this. Three of Pentacles, teamwork, expansion, and growth. And underneath the surface, it's an emotional situation. She wants that emotional situation. She is going to try and keep going with it. She's going to hammer away at it. And she wants that opportunity with the Ace of Cups. She wants that new connection. Uh, she wants the opportunity to show herself in court. Uh, yeah, that is teamwork makes the dream work. And, um, she's emotionally, uh, she's emotionally invested and it's a new situation. She's got the support and she has new developments that she wants to put into it. And so we shall see what happens, but they did, they did shut it down. They're shutting it down. They're trying to permanently shut it down. Like you don't have enough. You can't defend yourself. Just give it up. We're saying goodbye here, but I think she's going to push on because she, she's not a quitter here. Uh, let's get to the center of the deck here. 
center of the deck here, we have five of wands. So with the five of wands, we have here, there's a lot of conflicts and disagreements. Uh, and they may end up having to come to a resolution, but there's a lot of resistance. Samantha is going to put up a lot of resistance. They're putting up a lot of resistance. So this is kind of a battle going on here, obviously. And then we have here judgment in reverse. So there's no forgiveness here. There is no positive ending here. Um, judgment in reverse is hanging on to the grudges. So hanging on to the grudges and, and keeping the fight going in essence, and not wanting to make any announcements. She did say she thought it was uh, dark that they let out that announcement, uh, saying that it was on Megan's behalf because they did that. They made an announcement, and they should not have because it was actually inaccurate uh, because this is in reverse. It really, She really did not win the judgment. So it was a false announcement, too, uh, which is causing more of a battle and a struggle and conflicts, which may end up helping her, actually. It might help her get that new beginning here with the three of pentacles but it's looking like they really are doing quite the gaslighting job trying to shut it down saying she has nothing just give it up now uh and so they're just total gaslighting liars and they don't want the breakthrough insights they don't want uh they don't want the they don't want megan's lies being exposed and how she gaslights people and how she's a traitor and she's always going down the wrong path and she doesn't do sacrificial you know she's not she's not someone who will uh, go out on a limb for anybody. She's just all about herself, herself. She makes bad directions, very naive. Uh, she's She leaves loyalty behind her. She's not loyal. All she does is lie about her parents, her, her family, and just gaslights. And she's, she's running out of options. She's running out of uh, other places to lie. So, you know, she just leaves loyalty behind. She had loyalty. When she had loyal family members, it also can be read when she was loyal to her father and her family, you know, they gave her lots of options in life. They helped her. They helped her on her, on her journey in life. They were the ones that were inter instrumental in opening things up for her uh, and giving her that, that emotional, that intellectual support. Uh, the Ace of Swords, giving her the breakthrough, giving her the breakthrough so that she could go on some adventures, so that she did have options. But she's lying, saying that they did, they had no, no play in it. And so this is why she wants to keep fighting, because she lies and lies and lies. And Markle's all focused on her and Harry and glowing up together as a couple. Uh, and so... That's just how I see it. Yeah. All right, you guys. I hope you have a nice uh, casual evening and cheers. Cheers with the tea. All right, you guys. Talk to you later. Until next time. Bye.